Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Victoria and today I'm going to be talking about how I manage my TBR. For anyone who doesn't know, a TBR is your to be read. Um, I've seen videos before where people have got like whole bookshelves full of books that are their TBR, um, other people do it in other ways and I thought I would just talk today about what I do and how I manage mine. So I use two methods um, to manage my book pile. Um, first of all, I use the Goodreads app, which I've used for years. Um, I'll leave my links um, down below, so please do come and find me on there. I uh, love to see what other people are reading and um, have a good chat about how people feel about books, that kind of thing. Obviously, because I have a booktube channel. Um, so yeah, please come and find me there. I'd love to have a chat with you about what you're reading. Um, I use the Goodreads app, like I said, for years. Um, but I'd never really used it properly, or in a way that's useful for me. Um, so at the start of this year I was unwell for several weeks and um, I went onto my Goodreads app and I realised that I had over 300 books on my TBR list and it was just stressing me out um, and it just kind of felt unmanageable and unusable and actually loads of the books on there I'd added like years ago and they weren't really relevant to me anymore and so I spent probably a good week or so because um, I was recovering from an operation so I was having to rest which is not my natural way of being. Um, so I used some of that time to go through the, my TBR list on Goodreads, delete the ones that weren't relevant and have a good clear out. And I managed to get it down to about 60, which was pretty good given that I started on over 300. So I did that, had a good clear out. Um, last year was not a great reading year for me. Um, I usually read around 50 to 60 books a year. Last year I think it was less than 40 because um, I just wasn't in the reading groove so um, this year I was making a lot more effort to read more and read things that I'm actually only just kind of only pick up things that I'm genuinely interested in rather than reading what everybody else is reading because that obviously does not work for everybody um, and so having a good clear out of my Goodreads um, app was really helpful because I could then see what it was I wanted to read and kind of start working my way through so at that point I decided that I would stop buying books at random if I see a book that I want to read, I put it onto my Goodreads TBR list. Also, if I watch um, booktube or see other things that other people are reading, I will just add it onto the list, um, but not like buy it immediately. So um, I have my Goodreads TBR on the app, and then I have a physical pile of books. Now for me, I find it a bit stressful if I've got a massive pile of books to read that I haven't read yet, which probably goes back to doing English at uni, where there was like a massive reading list and I felt pressured to like get through it and do all of that so for me it works better if I have a much smaller pile of physical books. Um, I'm also on a budget so I have to be careful with the money that I spend um, and so I feel guilty if I've got books sat there that I haven't read because it feels like a bit of a waste of money to me. So what I do now is I allow myself four books a month from my Goodreads um, list so I buy those when I get paid and then I read them obviously through the month. Occasionally um, I will buy a couple more if I need a top up or I get given books occasionally or I borrow them. Um, but basically I just take four books from the top of my TBR list on Goodreads. I buy those books and then I read those books and that works really well for me. I think it takes a lot of the pressure off because I know that I will eventually get to all the books on my list because I only put ones on that I'm really interested in. I am very strict with myself, I don't just add things because they're popular or whatever, um, only if I really want to read them. I've also stopped adding whole series to my TBR list because again it felt like too much pressure and I felt guilty if I didn't like a book and didn't want to read the next one but it was on my TBR so I felt like I had to read it. So to cut that out I just add one at a time um, as I go and if I don't like one I just won't read the next one and that's fine because life is too short for books that you don't enjoy. So. In terms of what I read and the order I read them in, I also just take the list from my Goodreads. So I literally just start at the top and work down. And again, that takes the pressure off working out what to read next. Obviously, sometimes books will skip the queue if I'm really excited to read them or if I get gifted them. But generally, I just start at the top and work down and I know that I'm going to get to all of them. So at the moment, my physical TBR, I've got four books. Um, at the moment. I've also got a little book haul to show you which I will show you in a second because uh, I got given a birthday voucher which I've only just spent. My birthday's in August, it's November but anyway got around to it. So the four books that I have in my physical 
TBR at the moment, or a bit of a mixture. So first one is Giovanna Fletcher, Some Kind of Wonderful. Um, it's the last of her books that have come out. Um, I read Billy and Me at the start of the year and really enjoyed it and I've been slowly working my way through her other ones. I do have kind of mixed feelings about them sometimes, um, but then women's fiction is not a genre that I read a lot of, um, but there is something really charming and kind of warming and also how beautiful is this cover? I mean, look at it. Just lovely. So I've got that. Then I've got um, two books that my mum lent me. I've got A Karen Slaughter, uh, The Kept Woman. I've not read A Karen Slaughter yet, but I've heard loads about her on Booktube and Goodreads because I do love a thriller. So I thought I'd give this a go. I don't actually know if this is like one that I need to read in a certain order, but I'll give it a go and see what happens. My mum liked it and we've got quite similar taste in thrillers, so I'm excited for that also got a second one that my mum lent me which is um, England's Mistress The Infamous Life of Emma Hamilton by Kate Williams. This is a bit of a random pick. Uh, my mum said that she enjoyed it and again like I said we've got fairly similar taste in books sometimes. I don't know anything about who Emma Hamilton was. She became the mistress of Lord Nelson, that's about all I know. I'm not even sure, I was, it is a biography, I wasn't sure if it was biography or fiction um, but we'll give that a try and see what, see what I get. And then the last one is one that I bought, um, which is Difficult Women by Roxane Gay. Um, I absolutely love her writing again. I've kind of been working my way through um, her books. I've read um, Bad Feminist, I read last year, and then I read An Un Untamed State earlier this year, which I absolutely adored. So I'm excited to read um, this one and see what this one's all about. So those are the physical books in my TBR. So at the moment, I'm reading a Matthew Shardlake novel, um, which is like a Tudor mystery, so that will be in my wrap up, which is coming next week. I will then literally just work my way through. So the next one on my Goodreads TBR is Some Kind of Wonderful, followed by Roxanne Gay, and I'll then slot in the two that I've been lent. So I'll read The Karen Slaughter probably, and then England's Mistress, and then it just takes away all the stress of what to read, which works really well for me. This is obviously all just my opinion and how I do it. So that's how I do my TBR. Let me just, I did make some notes for this video to make sure I put everything in. So, yeah, so basically, I think I've covered everything. Yeah, and for me this works, and it may, means that I'm more relaxed about what I'm reading, I know what what's coming next, I don't have to um, feel pressure, which is not, you know, I read for pleasure, so um, it should be enjoyable. This is obviously just how I do it, other people do it differently. I know that other people love having loads of books, um, as I showed in my video last week with my bookshelf tour, I only keep books that I know I'm going to either read again or gift to somebody, um, or like lend to, them, to somebody, I wouldn't gift a used book. Um, other than that, any books that I read that I'm not passing on, I just donate. Um, so I am very careful with what I buy, and it's just made me enjoy reading a lot more this year. I think I'm on like 67 books or something um, so far this year. Again, find me on Goodreads because it's got that, got it on there. Um, and I think doing my TBR this way has played a massive, massive part in that. So yeah, that's how I manage. Um, and then just to finish off, I thought I would show some books that I bought this week. I was given a um, book voucher by my brother-in-law for my birthday, which was in August. It's been a really stressful uh, mental health week this week, which is something I will talk about at some point in the future. Um, just not this week, it's a bit um, close to the bone. Uh, so I decided to use my book voucher and buy the next four books on my TBR. So I have got The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. I read the first one, which is The Bear and the Nightingale, um, earlier this year and I absolutely loved it. I read it at the start of the year and they're obviously set in Russia. It's like Russian folklore, kind of. Um, so they're really good. It was a really good wintry read, and this one I'm really excited for. So we will see how I go on with that. But again, I haven't added the third, because it's a trilogy, I haven't added the third book onto my TBR yet, because I'm going to read this first. If I like it, then I will add the third one on. So there's that one. Then I've got two thrillers. One is The Sister by Louise Jensen, which looks really good. Um, the back of it says, I did something terrible, Grace. I hope you can forgive me. Um, and it says that it, then there's like obviously the full blurb and then at the bottom it says there was nothing she could have done to save Charlie or was there and that hooks me in immediately so I'm excited to read that 
and then the second thriller is Friend Request um, by Laura Marshall which is one that I've seen a few people read and review it's been on my TBR for quite a while um, and basically it says Maria wants to be friends but Maria is dead isn't she so again I love a good I love a good like, kind of set up like that that's going to hook me in so we'll see and then the fourth one is another Roxanne Gay which is Hunger um, I, again like I said I've been working my way through Roxanne Gay's books um, and added this because it just looks so interesting and also a number of people whose reviews I trust said that they loved it so I thought I'd give it a try but I won't read the two Roxanne Gays like too close together and try and spread it out um, otherwise I think it just gets a bit much so yeah that's um, my chat for today um, please have a chat with me below in the comments about how you manage your TBR do you do something similar do you do something totally different do you how do you how do you choose what to read next do you just pick at random um, I'm somebody who very much likes a list and that applies to my reading as well so this is how I do it um, next week's video will be my November wrap up at the moment I've got three books to talk about I'm hoping to get a fourth one in as well but we'll see how we go and um, I'll see you next time thanks Bye.